Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Saturday, August 29, 2015. The main fire potential impact in the short term is occurring today with gusty southwest winds ahead of a cold front moving into the Pacific Northwest. These gusts today are going to be very strong for the time of year with 35 to 45 mile an hour gusts expected across much of the region and stronger in some preferred higher elevation locations along the Sierra front. Widely scattered showers are also possible over Idaho, northern Nevada, and Utah, with the best chance of a wetting rain over southeast Idaho. Yesterday's lightning activity was limited to eastern Nevada, where those thunderstorms were accompanied by light amounts of precipitation. Over the past 7 to 14 days, much of the Great Basin has received below normal precipitation, especially western Idaho and much of Nevada. Portions of south central Utah have seen a little bit more precipitation recently. Yesterday's initial attack was fairly light and limited to mostly Nevada, Utah, and just one fire over southwest Idaho. This morning's water vapor imagery is showing that strong low pressure center moving into the Pacific Northwest. It's this system that's causing those strong southwest winds across the Great Basin. There is a little bit of moisture moving in with this system, which is keeping relative humidities slightly above red flag warning criteria in many locations, but the winds are strong across much of the region. Here are the areas we're highlighting today for significant fire potential, mainly over western and central Idaho, far western and eastern Nevada. Gusts have been strong overnight in western Idaho, but for this afternoon, the strongest gusts will occur over northern and eastern Nevada, western Utah, and portions of eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. The coverage for those widely scattered thunderstorms will be mainly over the northern half of the region, with the best chance of wetting rain over southeast Idaho. On Sunday, another little wave moves through the northern Rockies and may bring a slight chance for showers over the far northwest Idaho mountains. Temperatures will cool significantly behind the cold front today, about 10 to 15 degrees, with highs near 80 in Boise and in the low 80s across Nevada and much of northern Utah. Drier air will begin to move into much of the region, although that little wave could bring some showers to the far northern fringes of the region. On Monday, dry west to northwest flow will spread throughout the geographic area. and We'll see generally sunny skies with mild temperatures continuing into Monday. More of the same is expected on Tuesday under continued dry southwest flow. By Wednesday, another trough drops into the Pacific Northwest, bringing yet another cold front into Idaho. This will increase southwest winds across the southern Great Basin, but may bring a shot of some showers to the central Idaho mountains on Wednesday and into Thursday as that cold front moves through the region. This cold front doesn't look to move out too quickly, and we could see some lingering showers on Friday in Idaho as well. Utah and Nevada will stay dry during the period with under those gusty west to southwest winds, and we could see some heightened fire danger during this time frame in those areas. Forecast precipitation amounts are shown here on the left for today and Sunday, with precipitation really only expected over central and eastern Utah, southeast Idaho, and then over the far northern fringe of the central Idaho mountains. That's mainly for tomorrow with that second wave coming in. And the image on the right shows today through Friday, which is showing maybe a better chance of some showers over the central Idaho mountains for the second half of next week, Wednesday through Friday, with the next trough moving through. ERCs remain quite high across western and central Idaho, with slightly lower fire danger over central and southern Utah. With the dry air expected to remain in place over Utah and Nevada, however, those values will probably continue to rise over the next few days, while over Idaho we may see that decreasing trend continue for a few days with cooler temperatures and possible shot at showers over the central Idaho mountains. For the extended forecast, the Climate Prediction Center is forecasting below normal temperatures across the Great Basin as we move into the first part of September, with above normal precipitation chances over the central Idaho mountains, and below normal precipitation across the far southern tier of the region. This concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.